Have no fear, the Ducksters here. Welcome to another episode of Ducksters Wolverine Garage. Where today, I'm going to tell you a story. The history of Scotch tape. Everybody's heard of Scotch brand tape. Where does it come from? I'll tell you. So back in the 20s, I think, uh, Scott, there was uh, when two-tone and three-tone paint jobs started to become all the rage um, for the auto manufacturers, they uh, tried to mask off cars quickly. And of course, the auto manufacturers had to cut corners somewhere. So they cut corners on tape. Yes. So the masking tape that they were getting wasn't Scotch brand, but it was just cheap tape. It was a cheap paper backer. And then if the tape was an inch wide, it was only, there was only a half inch worth of glue. And so there was a quarter inch of glue on one side and a quarter inch of glue on the other. And the middle half inch was bare. It didn't stick for crap. And the, uh, the guys who are responsible for painting these cars are getting mad because these paint jobs are getting ruined, you know, because the stuff's falling off. And they finally got mad and told them, get rid of this blankety blank scotch tape. And unfortunately, scotch is a slight against the Scottish. Um, an old man uh, described it best by saying that the Scottish were known to have uh, deep pockets and short arms. They were known to be frugal. Um, nothing wrong in that, mind you. But uh, so Scotch tape, for whatever reason, lives on today. And now it's a brand that everyone knows. Same as, and a lot of stuff is referred to by the brand name. Scotch tape. Yep. Even if it's not Scotch tape, it's Scotch tape. A Bendix on a starter, even if it's not made by the Bendix Corporation, it's a it's a Bendix. Uh, Kleenex, Q-tips, Oreos, so on and so forth. A lot of things are referred to by their brand name, and Scotch tape is one of them. So, isn't that cool? Yeah, I thought that'd be a cool uh, thing to tell you about. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you like this, check out more on Duxter's Wolverine Garage. See ya.